What's up, everybody? Welcome back to UFB Ultimate Fighting Bad yeah. number three. What's up, Mike? How's it going? What's going on? I am Chris, and as you can see, we have a third, I was going to say contestant, but it's not a contestant. It's uh, a third That happened person. already. It's Joelle Monique. Hey, Joelle, what's going on? Hi, what's guys. Uh, not much. I'm really excited about this fight. All right, good. We're glad. Right. Uh, guys, Joelle is an entertainment critic, and she's um, an uber Badland fan, just like us, yes. just like you. And we've invited her on here after she went through the, the trials of the uh, Into the Badlands trivia, uh, which you'll have to go watch and see how she did. Um, but now she's here, and she's going to and she's gonna just get it. We're going to get into this fight. And this yes. fight, I'm sure if you haven't already seen or read the description or the title, is Gaius Chow versus uh, Juliet Chow, Baroness yes. Chow. It's brother versus sister. They both have the dark chi. This is it. Yes. This is the fight for the week. I was going to save this entry, but let's not get crazy. So, <laughs> all right, guys, let's – all right, so uh, – into it. That's the rules, really. It's there. There are no rules. Uh, each of these fighters has has the dark chi. Doesn't doesn't matter how or why they have it now. So um, let's just jump into it, guys. Uh, all right, who's winning? <laughs> See, I, I did a lot. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Monique. You want to start? Go ahead. Uh, Joel, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of thinking about this, especially the brother and sister uh, aspect mm -hmm. of it. And going back to um, this this previous season and seeing them as children kind of gives you a bit of um, the type of oh, good point. people they are and, right. and, and who they turned into. Um, I can see, listen, they're both great fighters. We've seen Chow fight the widow a couple times on the show. We've seen uh, um, uh, Gaius fight Caster, you know, with the dark Chi. Right. Um, so it's, it's kind of tough, but seeing the, the 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 character of of Chow the Baroness Chow mm -hmm. she's more cutthroat and and mm -hmm. she seems like the the stronger of the two okay. I can see Gaius being a, a bit more timid he's a, um, a little bit uh, selfless you know and, and he has an emotion to him he has a like a soft side right so what do you guys think from that go ahead Joel uh, yeah I totally agree with you that. Uh... Uh, when uh, Chow gets in there, Julia is gonna like be merciless. She knows her opponent's weaknesses. She was the first yeah. female baron, so there's really no doubt in my mind that like you know she's tough as nails. But also, yeah. we saw her you know in the giant baron brawl. You know, yeah. it was just her yep. to come out at the end of that unscathed. So yeah. I, I do think that if we're going, you know, a clear mindset just based off what we know now. Julia's my winner, but if we were to delve into, you know, Gaius's deep tortured long mm -hmm. years That's in true. that prison, yep. that level Very of true. anger, and then a lot of time to think about how to attack his sister, and he's, what we do know about Gaius is he's very patient, and he's willing to wait right. for the right moment to strike, so I feel like yeah. potentially Gaius c could win on like a good day, but I think if we were going to go odds, I would always bet Juliet. Okay. All right. See, now I want to throw the wrench here because um, I, I agree with both of you. Absolutely, 100% agree. And on a normal day, I would give it to Chow because, like like you guys said, she's just got the balls to do it. You know what I mean? She yeah. doesn't care that that's her brother. She had him in prison. Of course she doesn't care. And, yes, Guy has, has a soft side. He's a human side. He, he embraces yeah. his human side. However, that, that man's eyes go black. And he's got that chi, and he's got the chi, and the power comes out. I think he's. I think that he would decimate his sister because I think that when you have that dark chi, that's the time to let it out. That's the time to let all that pain, all that anguish, all of that waiting. With if he had the chi, that's it. Like it's coming out, and that's there's no stopping him. He to me, if. If if that's, if that's a good point. If yeah. Gaius had the chi in the show, right? If if this was if they if if if, if in the second half of the season he gets the chi, you know what I mean? Like he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah. So I think I because they have the chi, I'm giving it to Chow. And I think what would happen is, I mean, obviously Chow. I'm sorry. Well, let's say Juliet. She because they're both Chow. Juliet. You know, she. I think she'd be able to defend herself. But I still think that. Gaius is would would 
be more physical than her. He'd have he'd have a strength advantage, and I think he'd be he has that quiet rage. She's always been a maniac. Like she's always been that. So for me, that's a baseline. Like nothing. There's been nothing about her that's raised her levels. But Gaius, yeah. on the other hand, like you guys have said, he's been down here, and when it comes out. I think mm-hmm. it's just going to push him over. So I have to give it to get to Gaius on this one. Yeah. So you think, I mean, now that thinking, thinking that way, it kind of does persuade me um, because of that built up anger and that built up frustration mm-hmm. that he's mm-hmm. had and, and um, you know, being in the cell and whatnot, I can, I can see that point. Um, but I'm going to go based off of the widow and that, and that Chow has already fought, the widow, which is probably one of the mm-hmm. top fighters in the Badlands, and don't forget, you know, it's uh, they're fighting in in heels all the time, <laughs> <laughs> so the balance just has to be phenomenal. Yeah. So with with uh, with that uh, with that dark chi, I'm I'm gonna give it to Chow. I'm giving just, it to Chow. Okay. Seeing her use di- multiple weapons too, because when she did fight the widow in the mm-hmm. conclave with the, all the barons, she had like these um like these hand oh, knives, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you talking about the cones? Yeah. yeah. She had like, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so dope. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and then we also saw her with, you know, swords. And, and, and so she's very versatile to me. Okay. So I think I'm going, I'm thinking I'm going chow. I need to know what kind of arena they're fighting in. Because if it's a UFC like Octagon and yeah. it's close range, I think guys might have a slightly upper hand because... Mm-hmm. There's just not a, a lot of room for her to move around in. But if we're like, you know, Pokemon tournament open field, you mm-hmm. know, I think with more range and more the ability to move around, yeah. I think she's going to be faster than him and able to land quicker strikes. And I think that's going to get her uh, a leg up. If we remove their, you know, their dark chi abilities and we're just focusing on, you know, their yeah. combat styles. Yeah, yeah. All See, that so- rage space totally yeah Mm -hmm. that's a you bring up a really good point we haven't actually spoken about the arena yet um that is a good point and i you're right and i think that should be taken into account especially with these two fighters um also i was just thinking about the fact that not only okay so so you have the arenas but then oh what was the other point you just said too um maneuverability uh yeah quickness yeah, I was just oh man, I think I lost it. Oh, that stinks. Um, but yeah, oh she's quicker than him. Yeah, I mean, oh and the and and that was it. With the I was gonna make the point about the dark chi. What uh, it stands to the fact that we we still don't know what technically people are capable of when they're on the dark chi. We've seen multiple people turn it on, fight like monsters, turn it off. We've seen people control it. While they have, you know, the the monks control it, you know, mm-hmm. Caster and Nyx sort of controlled it, you know what I mean? So we don't know what yeah. kind. There's, yeah, there's definitely mm-hmm. levels of it. There's definitely. Do they lose a, will, a system? Right, yeah. and will will would Chow lose her her preciseness? You know what I'm saying? And would Gaius gain more of a hammer fist? You know what I mean? Like I, that's the thing oh, that we oh. don't know. Because the thing about Julia is we, at least to my memory, we've never seen her lose her temper. Right. Right. Like, right. I, I can't imagine her, like, lashing out or, or melting down. And I think that's where Gaius could potentially slip up because, you know, mm. if, especially if you're, if you're going to go with rage, you know, you're going to be a little bit sloppy with your You're hands, always going to be, be right, yeah. But, yeah. But, but, you know, if you can't get under her skin with your words, which typically tends to be, you know, mm. the rage go-to of, like, oh, well, I'll, I'll badmouth you until you lose your nerve. I don't think that's going to phase Juliet at all. Yeah. And then if we look at her, like, we know she knows how to do, like, military and war strategy really well. Yeah. Because uh, she's been defending her, like, outlying territory for a long time. Yeah. And so I, just, I, I don't think Gaius, I need to see Gaius go through, like, a, a Karate Kid training montage before <laughs> yeah. I believe effectively take on Juliet. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, man, you might, be, you might be swaying me now, too. 
<laughs> so that's what's great about these conversations. It's just I'm just going to try to go as simple as I can and just say based off of, like I said, who they were as children and and who they turned into. Yeah. And I'm, gonna, I'm I'm giving it to Chow just based off of that. Just yeah, that yeah, yeah. I see your points. I see especially your point, Chris, is just very good about the, the pent up that that build up of. A frustration right, and anger against when, his sister when, when he has the dark but, chi activated. Uh, yeah. I just think there's something there's something um, as far as the leader, uh, like Joelle says, and yeah. and how she's she's the first, the woman baroness, uh, you know, and she's and she's leading all these people. I'm just gonna say that the skill level is up there. Um, don't forget, I mean, I'm gonna give Gaius a little props too because he when he fought Castor in the museum when they were attacking Guy, uh, Castor was obviously under the dark chi and yeah. was holding his own a little bit until he got a knife through his back. But um, <laughs> we we haven't seen Chow fight someone with the dark ability. If we would have seen that, then maybe that would sway me, uh, you know, in a different direction. But I'm going based off of yeah. Um, who these people turned into and and that the strength mm. is with Juliet. I've got the nail in the coffin. Because yes. Gaius was able to get Pilgrim, I don't think he could get Juliet. Uh, <laughs> true. But he's got the dark chi, though. <laughs> Even still, the dark chi has not been everybody's friend. Like, it's helped a lot of people out of, like, a tight pinch. But yeah. as far as, like, I'm going to use his power to my advantage to succeed. It, it's really yeah. hit or miss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I think I think <laughs> you guys have swayed me for a number of reasons. Her her tac her 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 tactical ability, her cunning, her yeah, her, the her ability wits, to, to not lose her cool. And if she had yeah. the dark chi, I I actually would picture her more like um I I, oh, I forget his name now, but the 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 monk that Sunny fights in season one. Um, you know, like he's, you know, all those monks are just cool and calm and collected and using that power to their advantage. And I think, that, you know, I think you guys are right. They're on, they're on a super, yeah, super level. I mean, that's what, um, well, as I'm saying, we never really, we never really say whether or not we just have to assume that, that all of our fighters yeah. that have the chi have the chi, meaning they know how to access it and they know how yeah. to fight using it. And so that's why it's just. In my mind, we're just super. They, they've gone super saiyan, and so now they're at that yeah. next level of fighting. Is where is yeah. where I, what I like to consider what we do here. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, all right. So listen, I'm gonna give it to Juliet too. I guess Joel, we're, we're you're doing Juliet unanimous. Yes, my okay. girl. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, she did it. She won. She she's gonna do it. Oh man, but it what what a fight that would be though, right? Yeah. Oh, Hell totally. Yes. Especially with the emotional uh landscape yeah, the, of yeah, this the, relationship. Yeah, Wonderful. Course. Yeah, the brother and maybe we'll see that. Maybe we'll see it when the show comes back. Yeah, I hope so. Obviously yeah, obviously because he's with the widow now and that's mm -hmm, just yeah. going to uh upset her even more, Juliet, you know. Absolutely. So absolutely. Uh, and don't forget, yeah. she's, she was the last we saw her. She was down on the ground with a bunch of arrows in her. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, sure was. Yeah. Oh, man. Just, uh, this show got to come back. It's coming oh back, God. and it's going to be and it's gonna good. And if you're watching this after the show's already come back, then just comment how, how good it, it, it is because <laughs> and how good season three ended and how good season that's four right. and five are because you're probably watching this then too. Anyway, um, all right, so that's it. So Julia Chow, Baroness Chow, yes. she is the winner of UFB3. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Gaius, you fought your hardest, but you know you did. Um, yeah, Joel, thank you for for bringing to our attention the arena. We should, we really should consider that. Um, I don't think we really had previous, so that's gonna have to be in our next discussions. Now, what yeah. what arena are they in? You know? Yeah. Definitely. Listen, I love some Super Smash Brothers, and the arena <laughs> makes all the difference. It does, right? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So. Um, all right, cool. So, um, listen, Joel, thank you so much for being on. We yes, really appreciate, appreciate you um, joining in the conversation. Uh, where can they find you if they wanted to give you a shout out? Thank you guys so much for having me. Uh, come to Twitter and, and ask me more questions like this. This yep. is what I live for. I uh, love talking about who would win in a fight. This is the best kind of conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, also, planning to rank the uh, Star Wars robots soon. So come check that out and, oh, and fight man. me okay. on Watch oh, cool. Games. Nice. the Superior Droid. Um, <laughs> I'm at Joel Monique on Twitter and uh, Joel underscore Monique on Instagram. Awesome. 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 You can uh, write in the comment section below who you thought would win UFB 3. 
Uh, obviously, we chose Chow. You can check us out at thirdpersonpod.com. You can check us out at thirdpersonpod on Instagram and on Twitter and all the social medias. Check us out on iTunes as well. Yep, and that's it. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this. Thank you for all your comments. Joelle, once again, thank you for being on the show. And don't forget, go check out and see how she did on Into the Badlands Trivia if you haven't yes. already. So go check that out. And, guys, if you didn't know, we've interviewed Daniel Wu and Sherman Augustus, okay, and Paco and Giovanni, and we've we've had a whole bunch of people on the show and, and community members. So go check out all that stuff that we do on the show for Badlands because it's, it's awesome. Awesome and content. And it's fun. Yeah. And uh, we do it all for you guys, for the community. So thank you so much. Yep. And also go join the Facebook group that we're in. It's in the description. And that's it. So that's everybody. Thank you very much. Joel, thank you again. Mikey, good stuff. We'll yes. see you guys on the next UFB. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>